Continuing with geometry definitions, let's talk about angles. So we talked about angles a little bit in the last video. They've got to be defined most of the time by three points. So we look at, say, angle ABC. An angle that's less than 90 degrees, less than 90 degrees, is acute. And a way to remember that is acute. So something cute might be really tiny and small. Well, something, an acute angle, is going to be less than 90 degrees. Whereas an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. And you can remember this because obtuse kind of sounds like the word obese. And finally, we've got a 90 degree angle, also known as a right angle. So if it equals 90 degrees, you'll see this little symbol. And this is a right angle. Now, one thing to remember about a right angle is let's say I draw a line right through here. And let's say A, B, C, and D. So this angle and this angle must, of course, add up to 90, right? Because I've just split it in two. So they still have to add up to 90. But these two angles, ABD and DBC, are known as complementary angles. And complementary angles just means add up to 90. Imagine now I draw a line, a straight line. The number of degrees in a straight line is 180. So this is 180 degrees. And you can imagine I could continue around the circle, do another 180 degrees, and now I have a circle of 360 degrees. But let's for now just focus on the top side. So again, I could go in and I could draw another line here. Let's draw it like that, maybe a little straighter. And again, I could say, well, this angle and this angle, I still got to add up to 180. And in this case, we call these two angles or any number of angles that add up to 180 supplementary angles. And these angles add to 180. And again, I could take this line and I could just keep adding lines here. And all these angles still have to add up to 180, so they would all be supplementary. So whenever you're doing these angle game questions, you want to go ahead and look for straight lines and look for these places where you can add up angles to be 180. Some other kinds of angles that you'll see include vertical angles. So if I have two straight lines intersecting each other at some point, the angles across from each other will be congruent, will be equivalent. So this side, this angle here is going to equal this angle here, and they're called vertical angles. Handy thing to remember. One other piece of information has to do with parallel lines. So if I draw two parallel lines, L and M, and then I cut them with another line, and we call this line a transversal. What happens is I create pairs of equal angles. And there's fancy language, alternate interior angle, corresponding angles, alternate exterior angles. Don't really worry about that. The main thing you have to worry about is, of this uh, setup, the small angles, the acute angles, are going to equal the acute angles, and the obtuse angles will equal the obtuse angles. So for instance, this guy is acute, so he's going to equal all the other acute angles in this set. So he'll equal this. That's, uh, all, that's corresponding angles if you're paying attention at you know, your math class. This would equal this one too, not only because it's an acute angle, but also it's vertical to this guy. And these two, we'll call this one, two, and three. One and three are alternate interior angles, again, if you care at all. And then... This guy right here, of course, would equal 1, not only because it's acute, but also because it's vertical. And, and 4 and 2 are alternate exterior angles. Again, you don't really need to know that. All you need to worry about is that all the acute angles equal each other. And similarly, all the obtuse angles equal each other. So this guy equals this guy, which equals this guy, which equals this guy. So you get these little repeating sectors of pairs of angles matched up. So that's what you have to remember for your parallel lines, because there will be some questions on the SAT having to do with these uh, sets of angles. And that should be it for now for our angles. Next, we're going to look at some triangle questions.